Today we will create an occlusion mask that allows you to see through an obstructing wall in Unreal Engine. First, in the Content Browser, right-click and select Material Function under the Materials category. Name the function MF Occlusion Mask and save it. Open MF Occlusion Mask and add an IF node. Convert the A input of the IF node to a parameter and rename it to Distance. Set the default value of distance to 1000. Next, create a world position node and subtract it from the camera position node. This allows you to determine the position of the player's camera in the world level. Connect the result to an abs node, then connect this to a vector length node to calculate the length of the vector. Connect this to the B input of the IF node. Connect a vector. 1, 1, 1, 1 to the A less than B input of the IF node. If A is less than B, the screen will maintain its original state without applying the mask. Then, create a transform node and set it to change from world space to view space. Copy this node, then connect one to the camera position and the other to the world position. Since the positions are now in view space, connect a component mask node and select only the R and G components. We will use a sphere mask to create the mask effect on the screen, so create two sphere mask nodes. Connect the value from the camera position to the B input and the value from world position to the A input of the sphere mask nodes. Convert the radius and hardness inputs of the sphere mask nodes to parameters and set their default values to 100 for radius and 0, 5 for hardness. To invert the sphere mask effect, connect a 1x node to each sphere mask output. Multiply these two values together and connect the result to the A greater than B and A equals B condition of the IF node. This will create a black mask in the center of the screen. To add noise around the mask, create a texture sample node and add it to the value connected to the camera position of the sphere mask. Use a texture object node to connect the text input of the texture sample node and convert it to a parameter named noise. To animate the noise, connect a panner node. To adjust the size of the texture, create a text chord node and multiply it by a noise size parameter. Connect this to the coordinates input of the panner node. Also convert the speed of the panner node to a parameter and set the default value to 1. For the noise parameter, you can input T Perlin mask or any other noise texture you prefer. The result will show a moving effect around the black mask. In this example, I used the default top down template provided by Unreal. I created a wall to block the view. Open the parent material of the obstructing mesh. In the parent material, connect the material function you created. Click on the content drawer at the bottom and drag the MF occlusion mask into the material as a node. Connect it to the opacity mask input, which will make it appear as if there is a hole in the wall. Save and return to the level. 
When you press play and move towards the wall, a sphere mask will appear, allowing you to see the character through the wall.